Tommy, congratulations. Called up for the T20 World Cup. Just give us your reaction to the news. Yeah, you know, it's fantastic. You know, it was something that I was I was hoping that would come, but um, you can never be too sure. But I'm just over the moon, really, and, uh, you know, can't wait to get going. So tell us a little bit about how you found out. Did you, did you get the phone call? Yeah, I got a call off Marty yesterday, um, and, you know, thankfully it was good news. So, um, you know, I was just over the moon to get the call, and, you know, I uh, you know, had to keep it... I didn't have to have long to keep it quiet, but, you know, it's fantastic, and, you know, I just can't wait to get going. A T20 World Cup out in the Caribbean. It's probably one of one of the best experiences you could have in cricket, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We were over there for the for the ODIs in um, in December, and the atmosphere was phenomenal. I think the British get a great following out there, and to have games in Barbados, and Antigua is, um, you know, the grounds there are pretty special, and you know they bring a lot of um, British British. Um, tourists so it should be a great atmosphere in the crowds to be honest. Obviously a big winter out in India with the test squad it's your first T20 call up how much you're looking forward to being part of that setup? Yeah you know it's fantastic I really enjoyed going out in India you know it's not quite the same coaching staff but you know we really got on in, um, in December so you know I'm just over the moon and can't wait for it. How much will you take from that tour do you just feel like you sort of feel at home in, in the England shirt now? Yeah, obviously you just take a lot of confidence, you know, you know you can you can do well at international level and although it's a different format, you can still take that confidence across to be honest and um, you know, uh, I, sh I can go up, uh, go in and hopefully do well. Obviously plenty of length representation in the squad as well. Yeah, I know it's fantastic, you know, um, you get along with them lads really well and you know, someone who I can, uh, people I can talk to pretty honestly about and you know, get good feedback and stuff so I just can't wait for it. I guess Joss will be leading you. You probably spent a lot of time bowling with him keeping to you last year. What what sort of that relationship like between you and Joss? Yeah, it's fantastic. I think we've got um, obviously playing together. That's the only way you really get to know each other as players. And, you know, he sort of knows what I do well, my strengths, my weaknesses. And, you know, he can apply that in, in game situations. And, you know, the, the better relationship we have, you know, the better communication we can have. And, you know, hopefully the team does. And in your career so far, you played a lot of T20 cricket. It must be your T20 bowling must be a real skill that you're really confident about. Yeah, I think it's just the way the the team shaped up when I first signed. There was there was a there was a space for a second spinner, um, and you know just being able to develop that role really, and you know to get the the wealth of experience I have at my age is fantastic, and should be someone I could take with me to the Caribbean. Perfect. Cheers, Tommy. Cheers. Thank you.